In recent days, conservative talk radio hosts have taken a shot at the premise that drove Colin Kaepernick to his knees in the NFL in the first place. They're saying it was all about Michael Brown, hands up, don't shoot. And that may or not be what persuaded Colin Kaepernick to do that. Of course, it wasn't true, according to a lot of eyewitnesses and the grand jury witnesses in that case. But here's the point. It's not just about shootings. I've heard people on conservative talk shows talk about how back there were more white cop shootings of unarmed black men in 1971 than there were in 2017 so far. That's not the point. It's how we treat each other day to day. Senator Tim Scott, who's black of South Carolina, talking on the floor about all the times he was stopped wrongly as a young man, how that he had a friend who had a car that was too nice because he got stopped all the time in good neighborhoods. He sold his car so he didn't be stopped as many times by white cops. Uh, the fact that Tim Scott still gets stopped at U.S. Senate receptions and asks for his ID as a senator, unlike his white counterparts. Like uh, Kaleem Kerr, who said to me, a local leader, civil rights leader, he was stopped in his life about 40 times. He said eight were legitimate. Reverend Alex G., who did a Facebook Live post a few months ago about how he was told by his teller at the bank, why are you taking so much money out today? Alex says, none of your business. He had called the bank president. They straightened it out and said, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, Reverend G. Another friend of mine who's African-American who said he sat with his friends at a Bucks game and they all uh, asked, him, the usher asked him for his ticket, but not his friend's ticket. It's the day-to-day -day stuff, whether you can't get a cab, whether you stopped wrongly in a good neighborhood or bad neighborhood, that's what it's about. It's about everyday experiences. White people may not have that experience. You might get stopped when you're 21, 22 years old. When you had long hair, you might have some pot in the car. That might happen to you once or twice in your life. Philando Castile from St. Paul was shot at point blank range by a white cop and had been stopped 52 times since 2002. Maybe Philando's mistake was having dreadlocks. The white, black, data day experience. Let's chill out, listen to our friends, let's talk. That's what it's about. It's not about shootings. It's not about the number of white cop shootings. It's not about that. It's about everyday happenings. We have to listen to each other. And that's my message for today in my two minutes. My two cents brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCoshin, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done. Talk about this and more next week on The Mitch Hank Show on MadisonTalks.com.